Okay, so our contestant number one has picked Mr. Imdi. Contestant number one, please step forward. What kind of change will that be? A good democracy and a means to attract the young talent which which qualify which which develop quality. Now proceed to contestant number two. You may kinda of pick your judge. Okay. Contestant number one has got a Dr. Dushi. Good evening everyone. My question is, who is your role model among Nagas and why? Thank you so much for the question, sir. Well, there are many people, many personalities among the Nagas who are to be admired. But my role model is someone who has my biggest respect. I'm not sure whether he is present here tonight or not, but to me, my role model is Reverend Dr. Jing Bak. He is noted as he is noted as the social workers best aunt who runs the Jinsang districts as NGO, NGOs of ECS. He promotes education, healthcare, and he promotes education, healthcare. He is a wise man, kind, and a devoted person. I wish that we, we the younger generations should follow his footsteps to bring a better change in, the, in our place and be a good leaders like him. Thank you. Okay, our contestant number three has picked Dr. Dushi again. Step forward. My question is again, what according to you is the main factor that contributes to rise in educated unemployed youth in our state? According to me, it is the practice, like unfair practice, the means of unfair practice during competitive exam and job selection through backdoor appointment and lack of skill development program which gave rise to the unemployment in our state. Thank you. So we're getting a little handful here. We're gonna run around, okay? <laughs> Contestant number four, right? Contestant number four have big uh, Mr. MD, sir. Yeah, I mean, please step forward. Hello, contestant number four. Hello, sir. Okay, here comes your caution. If you happen to meet our Prime Minister, that is Sri Narendra Modi, what kind of topic will you discuss with him? Thank you very much for the caution, sir. If I happen to meet the Prime Minister of India, I will discuss on the topic about secularism. India is a democratic nation, but still, there is...
but still the majority of the Hindu, Hindus and other people treated the, the minority of the people in, in a very bad situation. So I will discuss to him about the situation. Thank you. Thank you. Question number four. Are we audible? Yes. Are we audible? Yes. Okay, okay. Okay, our contestant number five has picked Madam Gibson Lim. Good evening. You look lovely tonight. Well. Yeah, you look lovely tonight. Thank you. Uh, so my question for you is, if there is one message you can give to the young girls of Tungsang, what will the message be? Wow. The young girls of Tungsang present here tonight. <laughs> Catch up. Come out. Show the people that you are the best girl in this entire world. Don't let people define who you are. Define yourself. Believe in yourself. Thank you. So contest number six, you may kindly pick your judge. So contestant number six have got Miss Ajum. Please step forward. Hello. My question to you is, give me one reason why we should crown you Miss Jam. I should be crowned Miss Jam because I believe I have the strong personality to bring out the best version to the youngsters and I will And I will do complete justice to the Bedi Bajau, Bedi Barao movement. Thank you so much. Okay, moving on to our next contestant, contestant number seven. Okay, so our contestant number seven has picked Sir Anamong. Hello. Hi, sir. My question to you is, what are your thoughts on people having negative viewpoint about beauty pageants and fashion world? Many people, they think that beauty pageant is all about physical, loose, and they judge, they judge on the physical and looks etc. But the negative impact that I would like to say to all the audience is that it's not about the pageant that we are holding. It's not about the physical. It's not about the beauty that you hold in your face. But it's all about your opportunities and building up the confidence. Thank you. Next, we have test number eight. Kindly be your judge. Contestant number eight have big ma'am Gibson Lee. Please step forward. Hi, good evening. Good evening, ma'am. Okay, so my question for you is if you don't win the crown tonight, how will you handle the situation? Thank you so much for the question, ma'am. If I don't win the crown tonight, I I'm happy to be at bar of this 
En dus, en dus je... Sorry? En te veel confident enough to stand in front of you. The experience that I have here. <laughs> if I don't win the crown, I will miss out tonight. I will be happy enough that I have. The, I have got the opportunity to sound in this platform and to experience and to learn learn many things from here. Thank you so much. Moving on to our contestant number nine. Okay, our contestant number nine has picked Ma'am Achum. Hello. Hello. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Okay. My question to you is, tell us what positive and negative aspect of the impact of the pandemic on your life. Thank you so much for the question, ma'am. Positive impact is the pandemic has helped me to wider my digital knowledge through digital community. And one negative impact is I have become lazy to go to offline classes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. We will proceed to contestant number 10. Please speak your judge. <laughs> contestant number 10 have big Sir Anamon. Hello. Hello, sir. I have one simple question for you. How do you differentiate between love and like? Like is like when the uh, love is like a leaf that will fall during winter. But love is like a root that can withstand even if winter comes. And this is my view on like and love. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, contestant number 10. All right, our contestant number 11 has picked Madam Ketsinle. Please talk. Hi, good evening. Good evening, ma'am. Okay, so my question is, what makes you proud to call Twengsang your hometown? It makes me proud that Twin Sang is a hospitality and kindness that it makes me proud to call it as my hometown. Thank you. Thank you so much, contestant number 11. Last contestant, contestant number 12, left with no option, but let me declare, let, let me announce the judge that she have will be answer, uh, questioning her. You got Miss Achu. Please step forward. Hello, good evening. Good evening, ma'am. I want to ask you, what is your most memorable experience of this year's Miss Jang pageant? The most memorable experiences that I have experienced in this Miss Jang pageant is spending valuable time with my 11 sisters and learning new lessons in this pageant. Thank you.
great answers. So that was our first question and answer round. I think our girls did pretty amazing, right? We never know what we can accomplish un unless we engage with the world a little. And I think our girls are doing great. So thank you so much, girls. Yeah, you can leave the stage. Thank you so much, girls.